I have something for you. chemicals and smoke. I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. We need to reopen the case. See if there's anything that was overlooked the first time. We've done some legwork remotely, but we need to do some good old-fashioned investigating now. Hopefully it will be enough to clear Irvin's name. Oh, you remind me of him sometimes. Wanting to make things right. And when you said it out loud, you know, I actually believe we can do it. I just hope our lawyer is as confident. Yes, but listen. Nobody will stand up against the mining corporations around here. They're scared. She didn't want to lose the case. But she didn't have a lot to go on. Thanks to us, now she does. I sent that to our lawyer already. I asked her to confidentially review what we found. Right. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Urban's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. That construction is a dead industry, Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Reliant Medical, Arkmite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing off the city every time you want to run a tour group in here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where people want to live again. People are living here just fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have security work to get back to. Do you have a ship? Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore. So don't waste your time asking. Well, for one, it's illegal in UC space. Making mech platforms used to be Gagarin's bread and butter. So, since they were banned in the armistice, I get one to two folks a month asking what kind of relics I might have lying around. But I'm not about to risk a contraband fine, at my age. So that's why I just lay it out up front. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. May not be the prettiest stock, but you can count on every piece.
I don't miss all the extra heat from the old forges, that's for sure. recently? Did he get crushed under all that crap yet? Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. Yes. It was my first case as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> You're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago. And they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here on Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. He was publicly blamed for the economic woes, and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we've found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. Best case scenario, we clear his name and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. Not on its own, no. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. What was the motive from the original trial? We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. 
The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Dear Diary, today we created an ecological disaster and then blamed it on an off-worlder. Love have faced us. <laughs> Funny. But you'd be surprised how often people write down things that get them into serious trouble. Oh, do tell. For comparison, I just finished a case against another company that was charged with illegally dumping waste near the town's water supply. Their permit specified a site that would have cost twice as much fuel, so they sent a memo to the driver to dump it at the first available location just outside of town. They actually wrote that down. <laughs> Classic. Do you think your Argos extractor's credentials could work? That would be handy. Barrett, you brought someone with relevant work experience? I admire that. I'm nothing if not resourceful, Ellie. If that doesn't work, then maybe talk shop with another worker. See if they can help. We just need to find a mine where Irvin worked 20-some years ago. How hard could that be? Let me level with you both. It might not be possible to find enough evidence. But we may as well try, right? At least we'll know one way or another. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. I hope it's worth our time, but I can't be sure. The Foundry District isn't too far from here. After you, Captain. Now I get why he wanted me to look after his plants. No windows. Insufficient power for proper lamps. Oh, he must have been miserable. <laughs> no wonder he wrote so much. Well, I'll be. <laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along 20 years later. Hold on. Is that what I think it is? Find anything helpful to the case, Captain? He lived here for a few weeks. The plan was that I'd join him here. But everything went to hell with Hephaestus, so I didn't. I wouldn't have liked living in this metal box anyway. After all this is said and done, I will probably do just that. The honest truth is that it was easier to ignore. 
Me? Oh, no, definitely not. I didn't even want him to go to Gagarin. But he didn't think it would take long. It shouldn't have been a big deal. And now it's one of the few things I have left of him. Hmm. That is an extremely impressive specimen. And somehow it's managed to stay alive for the past 20 years. I'll hold on to it for now and see if I can't dig up some of Irvin's research on it. Gagarin has seen some better days. I admire your knowledge of how these systems work. Very impressive. Look at that. If we go to Town Hall, I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Is that Irvin's employment contract? Let me see. All right, we've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. And as the lawyer, she's probably right. The burden of proof is sky high on this one. It's likely already in orbit. Ah, it was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but the plant is a good consolation prize. No, but I did find a few slates that might give us a clue as well as a reminder to finish a physics paper that I well, never did. Yeah, but not for the trial. <laughs> Let no one say that Irvin Madani didn't have a sentimental side. The proof is in this plant, uh, with an assist from this self-sustaining habitat dish. Witchcraft, probably. But if you want a more scientific explanation, I have a couple of theories. It could go through states of hibernation or draw moisture from the air the way epiphytic plants do. There's also that habitat dish Irvin set up for it, which gave it light and nutrients. Still, I'm not ruling out witchcraft. I'm not sure. It might not even be a plant. It might technically be a fungus, but there's probably a reason why Urban tried his best to keep it alive. When we get back home, I'll go through some of his research notes. It might tell us something more about this plant. Hopefully it's not poisonous. No, maybe not. 
but it helps me. Irving was the last person to handle this plant. It mattered to him. No matter how the case goes, this warms my heart. I didn't expect to find it, but I love that I did. In any event, I'll go through Irvin's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, <laughs> on that note, we should give it a name. I'm thinking something simple yet refined. What do you think of Harvey? Then it's unanimous. Okay, the three of us should get back to it. You, me, and Harvey have a case to solve. No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. That's Seneda, up at the Vanguard office. She's pretty good. Nearly convinced me to hear that. I have faced this after all. Emily will be very interested to see this. Have you ever read about the early history of space flight? <laughs> so political. So familiar. You're back. Well, what did you uncover? We got it from Town Hall and everything. It's the real deal. I see. This sort of thing works well for the narrative of our case, but we will need more evidence to bring it to a judge. We're on it, Ellie. Don't worry. Well, I like the sound of that. I didn't mean to leave you with that impression, no. That is incorrect, it helps the case. It shows bad faith on the part of Hephaestus since they claimed he was not hired to hunt for them. But that's just circumstantial. It may help when we argue for a settlement value though, if we win. Okay, now that is a solid lead. Well, don't let me stop you while you're on a roll, detectives. We can talk more later. You don't need to be a botanist to know Harvey's probably thirsty. 20 years is a long time to go without a drink. You know, I'm just so busy. I still haven't bought enough scientists. Look at you, so clean.
worth a Not try. Not now. Trying to hype myself to go back to work. Ah. You just moved here thinking it would be different, right? That's how they got me too. Nobody works in the mines here thinking we'll get rich, friend. Well, it's got some amenities and protections, but not as much enforcement. A good balance for some. It's just the best option for a lot of us right now. Friend, I don't get paid to chit-chat about work. That information is confidential. Maybe so. What? No, that's not true. Look, I'd like to help, but... I tried to be. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. So listen, you can use my employee passcode to access that foundry terminal over there. I'll just say I lost it somewhere. Impressive. Next time I'm going to take a nap on top of a building, nobody ever looks up there. Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. Just a job, right? Well, at least we know where to keep looking, right? Essentially, any documentation that screams, Irvin isn't guilty, we made it up. I guess we'll see what state the mine is in. It's possible they collapsed it before they left. Just won't know until we get there. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. Careful. This place was shuttered 20 years ago.
This looks promising. This looks like administration. Right. Now let's go find Irvin and Helgi's lab stations.
was the destruction of the bacterial colonies, not the apex predators. So, they ruined the ecosystem here, and it had nothing to do with Irvin. This is it. This is what Ellie needs to see. It's not uncommon for them to leave all this equipment behind, but it seems rushed. I know it's not uncommon.
Looks like Helgi tried to do the right thing here. I'm sure Ellie would want to see this. I hope Ellie is still taking names and holding people accountable around here. you all the data from the mine already as i'm sure you know yes i've been reviewing it sit down let's have a chat about it welcome back you two how was the trip to the mine you're gonna love this, Ellie. Okay, someone better tell me. Come on. We found the coordinates to Irvin's old work site and went there. Huge battle. Fire, explosions. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, pew. Barrett, please. You should have seen the plants in there, too. Weird stuff. 
Anyway, you read over the documents we found there, right? What do you think? What you both found in that mine is remarkable. These documents show that the chemicals released by the mining process contaminated the ecology even before Irvin was tasked with removing the predators. And they also show that Helgi informed Hephaestus of the issue and it was repeatedly ignored. And with that, I think we've got ourselves a case, my friends. Yes! That's what I wanted to hear, Ellie. Woo! Yes, but it's still likely to lose. Because what we really need now is Helgi as our witness, and that is a problem. Helgi isn't an ideal witness at all. He was our star witness the first time, and he never showed up. Plus, he's got a reputation around town. After he quit, he went a bit weird. Well, I can handle a bit weird. I know the captain can, too. Clearly. But the judge might feel differently. It might be worth finding some character witnesses, too, while you're looking for him. I'm glad you're taking it in stride. It's just, for a case with this much science, we need the man who wrote the claims to back them up. Maybe even explain it in layman's terms. We could, but I think we'd lose the case, bluntly. We can verify these documents are real, but Hephaestus can counter by attacking Helgi's character. They'll label him a disgruntled employee and then find a dozen independent scientists to confirm Irvin was at fault. But with Helgi in court, he can explain the science and help me challenge any countering theories during cross-examination. That's also a bit tricky. He's hard to find. Doesn't really stay in one place for long. You might ask Dr. Kayala. She checks up on folks who fall through the cracks sometimes. You'd have to convince her to tell you where he is. That might be hard. Sounds like we're making a stop at the med clinic. We'll be back when we convince Helgi to be a witness. Listen, if he refuses, then he refuses. Can't force him. Yeah, we don't want to press him too hard. The last thing we need is him refuting what he wrote. This is going to take a light touch, but I think we can handle it. Do you need medical assistance? Are you injured? Is there something I can help you two with? Do you happen to know Dr. Helgi Hawkson? We're trying to get his help with something. Sorry, who are you exactly? We're detectives. Self-taught and unaffiliated. Freelance detectives. With the emphasis on the free part. Wait, what? Detectives? <sighs> Sorry, I don't think I know what you're talking about. Really? I mean, there's Irvin the Slaughterer and Irvin the Scourge of Gagarin, but I doubt that's the same person, right? I'm sorry, I'm not a tour guide. You'll have to ask somebody else. We're trying to help him. And Gagarin, actually. <laughs> Only every single time I see him. But listen, I don't have time to chat. Ellie's a good person. That bodes well, but I can't violate my oaths. I'm sorry. Listen, I can say that Helgi took up a job working at Clint's store just down the way. I saw him there stacking boxes the last time I picked up an order. I've got to get back to my work here, so if there's nothing else...
If it's patient medical records you're after, I'll remind you, I'm not at liberty to discuss that. We're thinking of taking Hephaestus to court with Dr. Hawkson as a witness. And given his situation, we're worried the defense might um, cast aspersions on his character, even question his mental health. That's unfortunate, but not surprising. Look, if he agrees to testify and grants me permission, I could vouch for his well-being. Thanks, Doc. If he does end up testifying, we'll definitely need you for the trial. Ellie Yankton will be in touch. No promises given patient confidentiality, but I'll do my best. I need to get back to my work now, if you don't mind. Taking in, don't mind the mess. I've got a system. Funny you ask, because I'd like to know too. He owes me a sizable debt. Yeah, I don't want to be mixed up with anything like that. I think you may be right. Yeah, I hope so. All right, fine, fine. I don't know where he is, but ask Lizzie up at the bar. She knows everybody. Gagarin. It was a military town until the end of the colony war. Mechs were our specialty. Everyone always blabbers about Mars making the highest performance machines. But if you needed a system that wouldn't let you down in a pinch, you piloted a Gagarin, but that all dried up when the mechs were banned with the armistice. Now, we've got these new firms coming in. Arkmight, Centauri Mills, claim they're here to revitalize the city. Which is funny, since their employees refuse to step foot in most of it. Plenty more competition for stores like mine, that's for sure. UC had a lot more money to throw around in those days. During the war, I couldn't keep the shelves stocked. At first, because of all the demand. But later, because the Freestar Collective flotillas were so damn good at picking off UC merchant craft. But the biggest difference now? The quiet. Not just because most of the forges and mines shut down. It was a testing. Firms used to drive their prototype mechs out into the canyons way beyond the city, but you could still hear the guns all the way from here. It was like, shoo, thunder. So when the thunder stopped, well, so did Gagarin in a way. Hmm. Good way to think about it. Hopefully, I'll be around long enough to see the end result. Everything okay? You sure you got the right person? Helgi and I have had several run-ins in the past. For me, yes. But there's a lot of water. Well, we just need someone to serve as his character witness. Given your long-standing reputation in the city. Sure. 
I can say a few words. I like Helgi, but fair warning, I'm not gonna lie for him. If I'm testifying under oath, it'll be full of the good and the bad. Wouldn't expect anything less. If you're looking for something special, just ask. Trade in a little bit of everything here, except mechs. Too old to be dealing with that black market stuff. Smells like the Centauri Mills plan is making a new test batch of something. Security is usually good about keeping out strays, but... Looking for a drink? Don't serve anything fancy, so if you're about to ask for wine spritz or whatever, you can hop right back on your ship to New Atlantis. Not as a rule, no. Just the ones that come to Gagarin and want to change it. And those folks usually ask for disgusting, overly complicated drinks. You one of them? Well, then make yourself comfortable. And don't start anything, all right? Sure do. I came into some money right around the time the war ended. Places were selling for nothing. Every person with credits was flying to New Atlantis. I got this place for a wink and a nod. Have been slinging drinks the way I like them ever since. Bunch of corporate marionettes moving in, setting up shop. They think we're just a bunch of cheap factories and dumb labor that'll leap at whatever scraps they toss us. But Gagarins are tough by default. We've got exactly zero need of corporate condescension. Yes, uh, the detectives. I heard about you. A reputation already? I'm impressed. Uh, slow news day, I guess. I serve drinks here, friend. Uh, we were told that you are a local crime. We serve drinks here. Here's a list of our specials for today. Um, there's nothing on here. Oh, that's strange. Here, let me fix that. Don't worry, it's just the one sale today. Oh, right. Of course, it's a number. Here you go, Captain. All yours. The service I provide is worth quite a lot.
Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Maybe. I need to think about it. I hear you. All right, all right. Consider it a favor. Sending the coordinates now. Wait. So let me get this straight. You want the bartender to testify he's not a lousy drunk? All right, I'm no lawyer, but seems like a bad move. Also, it sounds like work. And I don't work for free. If it's about creds, you might earn a lot of brownie points with the locals if you helped with that. Points they'd spend at your bar. As long as I'm still alive to spend it. But fine. If you get Helgi to show up, I'll take some of the heat off of him. Don't cook yourself out there. Half the city was shut down the other day for a corporate investment tour. I had to hike the damn canyon. I don't suppose you're here to tell me I've won a ticket to a new planet, huh? Sorry, Doctor. Not today. We came to Gagarin to investigate Irvin Mandani's contract with the mining company a long time ago. Ring any bells? Irvin, yeah. Biologist. Hunter. Yeah, I remember him. Why? Who are you people? Then find the history slate. Ancient history slate. Because that's what it is. Please. Irvin was once one of your colleagues. He was the one who faced this blame for an ecological disaster about 20 years ago. Do you remember any of that? No, I don't remember lies. It's been 20 years. 20. Get out of here. Look, I know this is strange. We show up out of the blue about things that happened decades ago. But right now, nobody save us knows the truth. And that means we're the only ones who can clear Irvin's name. Eh, and what of it? You probably think the sky is blue too. Well, you'd be wrong. It's whatever color Hephaestus says it is. Only if you let them. You're a scientist. Your words matter. That's why we need you to testify. Testify? The trial is over. The verdict rendered. In case you two clowns didn't get the memo. I remember not to talk with people who come asking questions about powerful corporations. Ellie? Ellie Yankton? But why? Ah, it doesn't matter. Nothing's changed. I can't. I cannot do that. Why is this so hard to understand here? Be 
been a thorn in my side, back and foot for 20 years. Maybe it's time I just pull it out. I think... No, stop it. You're trying to confuse me. And so what if it does? The ground don't got... Here's my thought. The case you have is the same as before. There is no guarantee you will win. And I don't want to get myself killed over a verdict that won't actually change anything. So no, I won't testify for you. Count me out of your plans. Okay, we get it. You don't have to testify. But if I could ask for one favor, Ellie could use some help with the defense. Any information you can give her. Records, proofs, things to help lay out the science. Uh, fine. I can do that. I can get her in touch with the colleague. Someone who can verify whatever evidence you've got. Miss Yankton can even call them as a witness. Might even help your case. You'll have an expert reading my notes, and not a drunk. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, yeah, don't get all mushy on me now. I need a drink. I have to break up one more find at Lizzie's. She and I are gonna have problems. It's a shame we couldn't convince Helge to testify. But at least we'll have someone who can back up his work. Okay, you two, lay it on me. Did you find Helge? Did he agree to testify? Well, we've got good news and bad news. Which do you want first? Ugh, I hate this game. Just give me the bad news first. The bad news. Helgi declined to be our witness. But the good news is he's going to refer a colleague to testify on his behalf. That means confirming the scientific veracity of every document we've gathered and challenging any ringers the defense hires to dispute it. Well... At least we don't have to worry about any character assassination. And having an independent party examine the data isn't the worst idea either. I'm going to view this as a win. Well, you two have done all that you could. Now it's time to hand the baton off to me. What do you think, Ellie? Do we have a chance? You've done a pretty decent job gathering evidence for this case. So what's the verdict? In this case, I'd say spoilers are appreciated. I am cautiously optimistic we can win this case. Optimism is good, especially from you, Ellie. The main thing is we'll be able to clear Irvin's name. Of that, I have no doubt. As for charging Hephaestus with a crime and clearing Helgi, that's more of an uphill battle, but I'll see what I can do. All in all, though, really outstanding work. We wouldn't have gotten this far without your efforts. And I've got to imagine that wherever Irvin is, he appreciates it too. Agreed, Ellie. And thanks for being our anchor in this. We should probably get out of Ellie's way and let her do her thing. We can talk more in private. We actually did it! Solved the case! And hopefully cleared Irvin's name. I feel like... What's the old saying? A great weight has been lifted off my shoulders? But it's actually true. I feel like I'm 80% biomass and 20% aerogel.
it's a relief. A grace. A seismic gravitational shift. I feel like a new man. I hope so. It's always a tug of war between the workers and the mining corps. But there's one thing we've got in our favor. There's more of us than there are of them. All it takes is for the people to realize it. Ellie would know better than I, but I doubt it'll be anytime soon. These things tend to involve a lot of red tape. It's a special kind of adhesive that makes you stick to old filing cabinets and manila envelopes. I'm feeling great. Although I could do with some wine and cheese. Why stop at emotional satisfaction when we can indulge in the culinary too? But if I can be serious for a moment, thank you. I couldn't have done this without your help. That makes two of us. Three if you count Harvey. And who wouldn't? He's practically family. In fact, Harvey's got a little explorer in him too. According to this slate I found, turns out that our spiky friend's been all across the galaxy. I doubt it. Harvey's a wanderer. Getting lost is how he finds his way home. We've been through a lot, haven't we? I had forgotten what it was like to work with someone so closely. On top of everything else we've done together and with Constellation? Yeah, I think so. Investigating Irvin's case with you is something I'll remember forever. I've come to realize that some events, uh, some people, stand out as pillars of my life. It's whatever leaves an impression on you, right? Moments that define our lives, where our future diverged from our expectations. People who changed you, or people you've changed. Yes, some of them do. And if we're lucky, they change us for the better. <clears throat> we only get a brief moment in this universe to interact, to feel, to be who we are and experience the range of emotions that our bodies and minds have evolved to comprehend. Maybe I did, but this is all from my heart, my friend. And the definition of that changes for everybody. If one is fortunate, you might even notice events and people changing you while it is in motion. I know I certainly am. I've explored many worlds, and I've worked with Constellation for most of my life. I cherish those memories, but you have changed me as a person forever. I don't want to look back years from now and wonder what if. 
I need to know what you think about us. There's nothing more important to me in the entire universe, my friend. <laughs>